and Doug Collins. Uh, Congressman, very good to have you. Thank you. Neil, it's good to see you again. Um, you know, this idea of getting Democratic help, it, 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 it seems a little after the fact. The irony, of course, being, as you and I have discussed, that at least in the terms of the Senate measure, they didn't really quite repeal Obamacare. They changed it, some of the funding for it, um, some of the requirements behind it, but you still have the government actively involved in health care. So they could have gone ahead and, and told Democrats, all right, we're not going to repeal change it, uh, but we're not going to repeal it, and this whole battle for votes would be a moot point, right? Well, I mean, I think it would at a certain point, but you also have to understand, and this is a fundamental question, I've talked about this before, I mean, when you've got uh, states like West Virginia, Joe Manchin, I have a question. If this bill is something you don't want to deal with, then explain the 160 percent plus increases in premiums. For Missouri, with Ms. McCaskill, explain to the hundred, your, your constituents the 140 percent increase in their premiums. Looking across the board where Iowa is being left without insurance, what we have failed here is this simple fact that the system is failing. We have got to look at it, and, and you have mentioned even before in this segment that, that as we look ahead, Medicaid, this was a Medicaid issue to start with. We have got to get the handle on this because this is our driver for future debt, for future deficit. These are the things that have to be dealt with. But at the, also at the bottom line, we've also got to bring it in. The person has forgotten here, and that's the mom and dad, the person who needs insurance, the person who wants to have health security. We've dealt a lot with health insurance. I think what Republicans and me and myself and are trying to say, health care and not just health insurance. You know, Congressman, I, I think what, what happens when a program uh, gets relied on and they keep mm -hmm. raising the, the income uh, ceiling, uh, which you can, can benefit from it, Medicaid comes to mind. Yes, uh, it's hard to reverse that. So as more and more people uh, become eligible for Medicaid and, and then get used to that funding for Medicaid, even though it's extended now to living in nursing homes, what have you, uh, assisted living centers and the like, for Republicans then to talk about changing the qualifications or reducing the income levels at which you get Medicaid, good luck with that. Well, but I mean, what's our other choice, O'Neill? No, and I, I, think I, this I, is I absolutely that... hear you. I do. The yeah. math doesn't support this continuing. but. That is is going to be a tough route because some moderate senators are the first to say, no, 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 leave it alone. <laughs> well, I guess maybe they shouldn't also probably ran on repealing and replacing Obamacare, too. Let's just be honest about the, the promises we made in the last seven years. I think it just takes leadership. I think it takes to telling to the American people, not assuming that they're going to just not understand, but telling them the real issues that we're trying to deal with here. It's expansion states who've actually put able-bodied adults on top of a Medicaid system that was supposed to be for the poor, the needy, the blind, who are basically being squeezed out. I have a daughter who is disabled, and we're putting in certain states, we're adding Medicaid to able-bodied uh, adults. These are the kind of things we just have to be honest with people about, say, here's how we're trying to make communicating that? You're very good on these issues and comfortable explaining the big picture stuff, and as we tried to touch on in the beginning, sir, about yeah. how this was meant for roughly 4% of the poorest part of the population, oh, exactly. not 40%. Uh, it, but there's no one with Ross Perot type charts these days doing that. I, I, I understand the conundrum you face about explaining that in a media environment where your view is not the view that the media will want to hear. But I'm just, who's going to do that? Well, I, I don't know, but Neil, I'll start here. I'll start with myself, and I'll try and encourage all of our other members to say this is what we need to go out and fight upon because I believe that this is a battle worth fighting for. It's what we've talked about. And granted, in October of 13, the landscape changed. When Obamacare and the exchanges were first put on with that disastrous uh, website rollout, people began to have something that they were promised was going to solve their problems. But look at where we're at right now. People lost the insurance. They did, couldn't keep the doctor they wanted. We're having issues with people having insurance through the exchanges, but deductibles so high that they can't pay them, or better yet, having insurance but no doctor willing to take them. That's You talk about being a cruel reality that the Democrats want to address, and I'd love to see them. one of them come and say, here are the realities in my district on people who got messed over by the Obamacare failure. What are you willing to do now? Are you just simply willing to stand behind your parking points? Are you willing to say, yep, this is a problem, and we need to look at the overall health of our country, not just our specific political viewpoints? Yeah, no, you're right about that, because right or left, Republican or Democrat, someone just has to explain what whether you like what we're working on or you hate what we're working on, the math doesn't sustain what either of us are talking about right now. So you either got to get on board and realize that and come up with ways to fix it, or we're all in a big fix. You know, it's math. 
Exactly right. And I think that's where there's the honest discussion. That's why coming on, talking with you, encouraging others to be a part of this, because this is something that, it, that matters well, to people. My viewers this are already it. geniuses. You know what I mean? You're preaching <laughs> well, to the choir. They're just, they're, they're just, they're all meant some material. You know what I mean? <laughs> we just we help any way we can. Dude. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Congressman. It's very good having you. Uh,